господа, Лига Мифайт М1 и Бодок Файт рады представить вам бой в супер тяжелой весовой категории. И в красный угол ринга поднимется боец. Ему 37 лет. Его рост 189 сантиметров и вес 125,6 килограмма. Его профессиональный рекорд. 8 побед. 2 поражения. Дамы и господа, счастлив представить вам из Лас-Вегаса, Невада. Hundred and seventy-seven pounds. Eric Pele has trained for this fight like never before. I have been an Eric Pele fan since the inception of his MMA career, and I've never seen this guy fight at less than 350. On the heels of his jaw-dropping stoppage of the previously undefeated Antonio Silva, Pele looks to put his stamp on mixed martial arts with a second victory over the extremely formidable Alexander Emelianenko. This one, the Russian superstar against the rejuvenated Samoan superstar. I'll say it again, I'm going to be absolutely shocked if this one goes the distance. In this battle of massive men, take a look at the tail of the tape. You'll see Emelianenko, 12 years younger, 4 inches taller, 22 pounds lighter. He has a three and a half inch advantage in reach, however, and look at the records, very similar. This is a battle of great, superhuman, powerful men. We're just about set to go. John Brockmole is in there, and we'll have this underway momentarily. Strap yourselves in. This will be something judge, to see. Judge, judge, you ready? You ready? Let's fight. Mignonetko always looks like he just got out of bed, but he doesn't fight that way. Just watch him. And you heard what Paul had said about the great condition of Pele. He looks beefy around the middle, but he indeed is in his best shape ever. Yeah, Pele told me he hasn't been under 300 pounds in 13 years. And now Pele eating solid punches and knees to the face. And Emelianenko very fast with his hands, quick on his feet. Pele has an absolute granite chin, though. Emelianenko is going to have to land right on the button and several times, I think, to put Pele away. Meanwhile, Pele has knockout power from extremely odd angles, so Emelianenko is going to have to be careful. Well, he's already got a mouse under his right eye. Here comes the knee, then Emelianenko goes back to pounding him, the knee, back to blasting him. Now Pele has to hang on, comes with an uppercut, right back on the right hand. Is Emelianenko. Knocks the mouthpiece loose of Emelianenko, and I think this is a rope and strategy on the part of Pele. Now Pele caught him with one good shot in there, and Emelianenko didn't like it. Goes with the lead right hand, which catches him. His mouthpiece is still loose. He's got a problem. He might have hurt his jaw with that shot. Now the right eye of Pele swelling a bit, but not closing. A hard inside leg kick. And Emelianenko taking it, catching it, and sweeping Pele. This guy's a good, complete mixed martial artist. He's a flash with a left hand to the rib cage of Pele. Looks like Emelianenko's hunting for that guillotine choke, but Pele more than strong enough to power out of it. Pumping a knee into the midsection of Emelianenko. In the past, in certain fights, Emelianenko has been known to gas, and perhaps Pele is counting on that. Well, Pele creates a little distance here. Let's see if he can get some shots off. I'll get this guy down. Right on the bridge of the nose is a red uh, area on the nose of Emelianenko. So he's been popped a couple of times. He's making the move. Pele lets him come in. There's that knee again. Flash to the left hand. Watch the knees of Emelianenko. Oh, and downstairs and upstairs with his punches as Pele. Already I'm seeing Emelianenko starting to...
to slow down just a little bit. I'm not saying he's not still effective and dangerous, but you got to watch out for those Sergeant Pele. Yeah, he's gonna, gonna, sorry, go ahead. Go, he's taking that mouthpiece out in between combinations to get extra air. So he is uh, gassing a little bit early in the first round. When he lifts that mouthpiece out, he also can make it a jaw adjustment because he really gets near, but he, you know, he's sucking it in, as you said, uh, Jeff. Waiting now is Paley, letting him come in. He wants to counter him. I'm seeing a distinct game plan here. As Paley is taking the shots, but he told me when he fought Antonio Silva, who had finished all his prior opponents inside the first round, that he was catching punches flush and surprisingly was not stunned. I think he's coming in here knowing what his knockout resistance is coming from his Simone blood. Willing to give up the strikes, but is he going to bite him in the butt? This guy looks like an assassin, does a million echo. Look at those eyes and that tight shot. Nailed with the right hand by Eric Pele. Yeah. Got his attention again. Pele scored twice with that southpaw jab and then coming around with the right hook as well. I'm telling you something, I'm very impressed with the game plan. It just remains to be seen. Will it pay off? Or will a million echo finish off the Samoan superstar? That right hand of the body hurt his ribs badly. He's hurt to the right side. This is as high stakes a gambit as I have ever seen anyone take in a mixed martial arts match. Pele is going all or nothing. Oh, the right hand lead. Back with the left. Oh, with his own right is Pele trying to hold him off. I mean, it ain't go right in front of him. Pele not sliding left to right. He lets him come in on him. He's going to load up the right hand. Emelianenko trying to unload it. Pele shifts his shoulder back now. Oh! This is tough stuff. Both guys a little on the gas side with a minute to go in round one. This is scheduled for three. Oh! Solid shot to the temple. Pele drops him. And it's over! Emelianenko has finished off Eric Pele! And he caught him with one good shot. And that's all she wrote. That's the kind of power Alexander Emelianenko has. And remember, he's the baby brother of the big guy we're going to see. Yeah, you see Eric Pele. He turned to Sean Brockman and gave him a thumbs up, said, hey, dude, you made the right call. Because it was it was all downhill from there. If Amelian Enko hit the ground and uh, hammered down a few more on him. But Eric Bailey, I got to take my hat off to you, brother. This guy said I didn't lose weight not only for this fight, but for my family as well so I could be around for my kids. Gotta love this guy. And a smart game plan. I think he came in here knowing he was facing a superior striker and did pretty much the only thing he could do, and that's gamble. Now, here we see Emelianenko standing back and just peppering shots in, showing that he was, in fact, a superior striker. Pele actually pressing the action, which he had not done, but walking right into a thunderous left hook that completely rocked him. And when you hit a Samoan hard enough to stun him, you know you've absolutely poleaxed him. There you see again the knees of Pele buckling. That's something I have never seen in my life, is Eric Pele drop with a single shot like that. It shows what a devastating fighter Alexander Emelianenko truly is. One more look here. Sets it up beautifully, gets his body weight behind it, and Eric Pele is down and out. Hats off to Alexander Emelianenko for putting away a man who was previously known as having a granite chin. Well, the referees won't accept that as a defensive posture. When you put your forehead down on the canvas and put your hands back up over your head, they said in the rules meeting yesterday they would stop the fights, and they did. Let's make it official. Let's go to our ring announcer. Now we're going to start. Shooting in the middle of the 8th, 7th, 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 7